to Knoxville playing in Neyland? Oh, um, you know, definitely super excited. Um, you guys already know my journey and where I started. So definitely um, going to be a huge challenge. They're a great team. Um, it's going to be a great environment. Super excited about playing in a ho another hostile environment, being able to test who we are as a team. Um, and, you know, just another, another game on the road for us. Um, big rivalry game, tradition-wise. Um, this tradition runs deep. So, you know, super excited to be able to, you know, uphold that tradition and that legacy of, you know, Alabama football. Henry, I know you enjoyed the whole inside linebacker room, but when you when you watched Deontay Austin in practice, was there ever a moment for you where you, where you were like, man, this kid's got something here? Yeah, um, you know, crazy story. Me and Deontay Austin have been super close since, you know, last year since he got here and I got here. Um, spent so much time with him and, and, and off the field and, you know, being able to spend so much time with him during the summer and, and the spring. Um, you know, I kind of took him under my wing and, you know, just seeing the potential in him and, you know, how he can, you know, carry on that legacy of linebackers when, you know, me and Jalen Moody leave. Um, you know, he's a great player, so physical, so smart, so instinctive. Um, super excited about his future. Um, but, you know, we're really focused on this season, how he can be a great player this season. Um, he's been a huge part to our defense. So, you know, definitely blessed to have him here. Hey, Henry, uh, as far as since you got here and just the ways you've grown, I mean, what, what ways do you think that you've changed or just grown since you got to Tuscaloosa? Yeah, um, first off, I'd say is my body. You know, my body has changed so much. You know, our strength and uh, conditioning staff does a great job of, you know, knowing who you are as a person, knowing your strengths, knowing your, you know, your fundamental things that you need to work on. Um, and also my game, you know, the coaches does a great job of, you know, the little things matters as a football player. So I think that's one part of my game. Change. Two, if I could. Just first off, what's what's it like on the field when you have the three outside backers, third down pass rush? You got Will Braswell, yeah. Dallas. What's that like for you? Man, it's fun for me. Uh, I just you know I just do my job and let them go do their thing. Uh, you know we got a, our cheetah package and that's our cheetah package when they're in there. Um, I just let them play, let them go get a sack, and then they help us in the back end too. So if we're covering, you know we know we're not going to be covering for long because they're going to get back there. So definitely a huge part to our defense. And what's it was like when you were at Tennessee? What, what, the the mindset going into a game when you guys played Alabama? What was the mindset yeah. on that campus and in that locker room? Yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, you know, the tradition. Um, you know, we always knew that this was a big game, um, no matter what game it was. But you know, that tradition, you know, never dies. You know, Alabama and Tennessee will always live forever. Um, and that'll be a game everybody looks forward to on the third third week of October. All right, we have two more questions. Let's start. There was a couple times where like you almost like made a pick for Will and he was able to stunt. Like yeah. what goes into that play and then do you kind of like feel like an offensive lineman at that point? Yeah, uh shoot. Sometimes, you know, that plays like I, I think I'm going to get back there. So definitely uh, those plays to set each other up. Um, you know, if I don't if I come free, uh, then it's my turn to get a second. If Will comes free, then, you know, that's Will. So um, it's kind of working as a string together trying to get everybody free. Um, so th those those plays are fun. On the cigar tradition uh, that comes with this game, you've been here from the outside looking in. You're from the Tennessee perspective. Uh, which fan base or kind of which uh, football school kind of you think buys into that cigar tradition more, Alabama or Tennessee? Shoot, uh, I really, you know, I really can't give you an answer on that. I ain't gonna lie. Um, you know, we're we're here to play a football game. So like, you know, whatever happens externally with the fans and how they feel about a cigar, um, you know, that that comes with them. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, we're here to play a 60-minute football game. Definitely excited about it. They're a great team, so super excited to play these guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.